Hi everybody, Andrew Hutchings here again, and this video is to summarize everything in the prior two videos. Once again, I'm not a doctor. Maybe that means I'm better than a doctor. So basically, they did not check to see if the participants in their study for the vaccine were infected with the virus or had been previously infected with the virus. So somebody could have just caught the virus and started the study. Somebody could have had the virus for a week and started the study. Maybe they're developing antibodies for the virus as the study is going on. Then they attribute those antibodies to the vaccine. We don't know. Because they didn't test to see if the person had the virus or antibodies for it. The other thing is that pretty much everybody had significant side effects. Everybody had mild to moderate side effects, and 20% of the people in the higher dose group had severe adverse side effects. Now, despite the fact that this virus only kills 0.01 to 0.04%, somewhere around there, and the serious severe adverse side effects were 20%, that's a lot more than 0.01%, um, Despite that massively high amount of serious adverse side effects, they thought it was a good idea to keep pursuing this vaccine. There's no reason not to. No health concerns, no safety concerns. You know, like I said, everybody had side effects. 20% had serious side effects. So what else was there? Um, I think that's basically everything that's the mind-blowingly stupid stuff. Yes, they were testing for an increase in antibodies. So hopefully if someone already had the antibodies, they'd stay the same. But that's not how antibodies work. If you just start to get them for a virus, they're going to go up. So if somebody had already had the virus and got the antibodies and they were already steady, and then they got the vaccine and that further increased their antibodies, well then yes, the study does okay but that's a horrible design but if somebody had just got the virus a few weeks ago a month ago and their antibodies are still climbing up the way this study is made that could have easily been attributed to the vaccine so once again tons of serious side effects they didn't check to see if the person was infected before the trial they didn't check if they already had antibodies so i hope you like this video please like and subscribe and click the bell icon so that when I release my video and my paper about the adverse side effects of coronavirus that are not known right now, that most people don't know about, that you can be the first to find out about it. Because these are actually the things that concern me. It doesn't seem like it's going to kill young people like myself and if you if you're young watching this. It actually doesn't seem like it's going to kill anybody. I mean, for the most, obviously it kills people, but not a very big percent. Aspirin kills a larger percent. But there are some very concerning side effects, and we don't know how long they last. And, uh, yeah, they may last a month, they may last a year, but we don't know yet. But they are very concerning, especially for young people. So I hope you like this video. Once again, they didn't test to see if the people had the coronavirus before the trial. They didn't test to see if they already had the antibodies. And everybody had side effects, 20% had serious side effects.